Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Speed here, and today we're going to be talking about arguably Dota's best hero right now, and I actually kind of believe that. I think the current place of Zeus is genuinely insane. This hero is obscenely reliable, as it has one of the most stable laning stages in all of Dota, and its scaling is very easy to execute and very potent. Basically, if you don't know anything about Zeus, this hero nowadays buys Phylactery to carry it in the early game, has a 10 talent that gives him 250 health, putting him up to 1700 health with basically one item at level 10, and then from there you buy a Manta style with your shard, and essentially every time you auto attack you shoot out an arc lightning. It's just insane, I mean it's a 50% damage arc lightning, but it is ridiculous. You farm obscenely fast, you do a ton of damage, and as the game progresses, we're gonna see XM, the winner of the most recent Elite League, we're gonna see him go a Refresher Ags Kaya build, complete nuke build, but just with a Manta style. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to play this here today so you can spam it in your pubs, and let's get into it. All right, before we get into the main part of the video, I do wanna let you guys know that I'm not only posting videos here on YouTube, I also frequently post videos on the website. If you don't know what I'm talking about, almost every single day I'm posting a new video to the Game Leap website. We're going to teach you guys in depth about how to get to the next level. So if you want to become absolutely broken, click the link down below and sign up. So in the laning stage, one of the nice things about Zeus is that the hero has a staggering 315 base movement speed, 4 armor, which is not bad for an int range hero, and a really solid 64 damage with not even close to max damage items. You can do way better than this. You can get up to 66 damage. I think it's maybe even 67 with uh, Null Talisman components. In terms of the mid lane, just Q to secure the range creep, uh, and then that's about it. Like, you don't have to do much. Just Q to secure the range. If the enemy is contesting a deny and they're really close to the creep, like a melee creep, you can also queue that. And then a laning stage, for instance, like right here, let's say the sniper was to walk up to this melee creep. You can also queue the melee creep and then hit the sniper instead of hitting the creep, right? Because that's going to do damage to the sniper with the arc lightning and with an auto attack. And that's a great way to get an advantage in the laning stage. In terms of items and skill build, you're just going to straight up rush mana boots. Like literally you buy boots, then you buy Bassy, then you buy mana boots. You can buy clarities if you need. In fact, he just shipped out two. And then when you get your ultimate, you're just going to watch the side lanes. It's very important to get these early kills. And it's honestly the most broken part of Zeus in the early game because 300 damage, but it's also 5% max HP is damage. So let's say 350 damage, just about on average is, is insane, right? It's obviously a ton uh, against a hero like Gyro with, you know, max 850. It's really not hard to break this threshold and snipe kills. Uh, so that's exactly what you want to look for. Even here, he just kind of uses it to help with the techies kill. Didn't get the kill. That feels bad. Um, yeah, just spam your mana boots off cooldown. You're going to push in the wave over and over again, and then you're not really going to rotate. Just contest every single rune, right? Every single power rune you're going to go for. You don't need to rotate. You're just going to look to farm, push out the wave, contest runes, and eventually, if you have time, stack camps, right? Because your hero is one of the best stack takers in the game. Arc gliding easily rips through stacks. And we see that here. He's got a nice little stack on the large camp, hits it at 655, right? Pulls it out, clears the mid wave, rinse repeat over and over and over again. Very, very easy, right? This is why I love this hero. And this is why Extreme Gaming is first picking it. You can do this in every game and there's basically, I mean, there's very few heroes that can actually stop you from doing this unless you just mess up a lot. This is a really great TP as well. I know I said don't gank, but obviously these are just rules of thumb. Of course, if the enemy is extending past the tower, Zeus's Arc Lightning is one of the highest damage spells in the game in the early game. However, in order to kill someone, you have to use a huge amount of mana usually, right? Because of the fact that it's 90 mana on a 1.75 second cooldown, so it's pretty rough, right? However, this TP makes sense. They're diving the tower, and he was full mana. If you're going to TP into ganks with Zeus, you kind of need the mana pool, right? You can't just be like, oh, you know, I, I'm half mana, I'll TP in and I'll cast two Qs and that's good enough. Uh, it's probably not good enough, and a lot of the time, you just can't farm at all after it as well. Like here, he's in a bit of an awkward spot, and you'll see it actually forces him, I mean he pops a clarity, so god bless, pops a clarity, he has mana boots, but it will force him back to base in a lot of cases, right? Making these rotations, taking these stacks, uh, these big sort of plays on Zeus, will, will make you go base, which you should, go space here, very important. A lot of people will be like, oh, I'm just gonna get the rune, it's like, nah. I mean, you might not, and also, it's just a huge amount of mana, you know? This hero has a huge mana pool. We see him taking stacks here. This hero wipes through stacks. Very nice. Fairy's Trinket neutral item. Just any of the mana neutral items is what you take. So a couple things to note as well at this point in the game is that he doesn't buy wand, he doesn't buy raindrops, he doesn't buy windlays, 
he's really just prioritizing his big item timings. And I actually do think it's very reasonable when playing Zeus to buy the items like Wand and Raindrops. I wouldn't shy away from it, especially if you're the type of player who wants to get really active. And even here, you know, XM is taking a fight. It would definitely, oh, he did buy one. It would definitely be useful to have these items, right? You're a skirmish hero. You're buying Flactory. Skipping things like Raindrops, Windlace, and Wand on a hero that wants to battle. I mean, it's a, you're buying Phylactery. This is an early game skirmish item. is ridiculous. And so, yeah, I actually thought he wasn't going to buy the wand. But yeah, you want these items uh, if you're going to play like this. If you're going to completely AFK and just play for timings, of course, you don't need them, right? These items will not scale necessarily, but for the most part, should pick them up. Another quick little tip, when farming, every single time mana boots are up, you want to drop your phylactery on the ground before popping the mana boots to maximize your mana pool. Okay, so the execution of Zeus in early fights is obviously pretty easy, but there's a couple things I want to say that are crucial. Okay, number one, be patient, right? This is really key. Just let your people go in. Let them go in. Obviously, at this point of the game, you kind of do have the option to bait. I mean, look at his health pool. Like, this is just stupid. This is part of the reason why I think Zeus is just kind of broken, right? 1700 health? Because he has the 10 talent and an item that gives ridiculous stats. Just insane, right? 1700 HP. Starts the fight, does about a third of Slaughter's HP with a set of nukes on the Flactory. And this is kind of the reason why Flactory is really, really nice, because usually Zeus has a semi-hard time finishing off kills, but the Flactory will slow people. And also, on a 6 second cooldown, it does 150 bonus damage, which will often make the difference in helping finish off kills. Also, Zeus can take ancient stacks because the Q bounces 15 times, which means that these stacks that have 15 units or more sometimes uh, can be killed, right? They can be just wiped through. Also, he saves his gold. He's going to be waiting for the exact 15 minute timer as he walks to base again to buy his shard. I will admit he could have bought Band of Elven Skin for optimal efficiency here, but it's okay. I'll forgive him. So from there, what do you do? Well, there's a couple things. You can just completely AFK farm. Once you have your shard, it gives you bonus 100 attack range, which is obviously great. Then it gives you 50% damage on your auto attacks and your illusions will deal 20% of the damage. But honestly, it just it's just insane, right? Obviously it's half the damage, but it's just straight up insane. You're gonna notice they take a fight here. XM wasn't actually able to be at this fight, but that's no problem. And this is why Zeus is such a good pub hero. Fight breaks out, take the fight. Fight doesn't break out, game AFK. Okay, I will just wipe through every camp at literally the speed of light. This is like the fastest farming mid here in the game. I mean, it's it's up there for sure, <laughs> which is insane. It's like, it's Zeus. He's always been okay at farming, but never a flash farmer per se. It's just wild to see that like, look at this ancient stack. I'll play this in like regular speed. I mean, come on guys, what is this? And because of the fact that you can kill ancients, you can get really high levels. And now this all comes together. I know I'm skipping ahead a bit of myself here, but this all comes together for the level 20 talent. And this is when Zeus really becomes broken. We'll talk about it more when we get there, but 6% arc lightning current health is damaged. Guys, the base spell does 6%. The 20 talent doubles the current health as damage. One of the most broken things in all of Dota. Literally, I would say it's a top 5 20 talent. There's no way it's not. All right, and so XM almost just completely AFK farms. He did TP into one move, but nothing happened. Also buy a couple clarities, guys, don't be greedy. And then yeah, when you spawn these Mantas, these Mantas are just insane. We'll get more of a glimpse later on, but you're gonna see the power of Zeus. I mean, first off, the Manta gives you the very much needed attack speed that you want with your shard, which is always cool. But here, we're gonna see a look at the, the Mantas and also get super lucky. Whisper of the Dead, 10% spell amp, such a nice item. Look at this. I mean, you just, it's like Luna. I mean, it's not as good as Luna, but I mean, it's close. Like considering you're an int hero, <laughs> it's like, bro, this is an int hero. It's just wiping through waves. And then in team fights, guys, until you have a lot more items, you don't need to auto attack. In fact, XM basically never even tries to use the shard in almost any of the team fights. I will admit, I think maybe he could have like here. They hit a nasty egg. The fight's looking really good. I think he definitely could have thrown in some auto attacks. Okay, the biggest thing I'll say though, is that he never uses heavenly jump aggressively. Obviously there's scenarios where you want to, if it's like a 1v4 and you're chasing, like sure, fine, right? That's that's reasonable. But generally guys, don't jump in. Like even here he jumps on sniper, it works out, but this is how you die on the hero. Try to just save it for almost strictly defensive purposes and you'll feel a lot better, but it just wipes them all up. And a clip like this just goes to show how broken the Zeus hero is. 
you just have 2k HP. You know what I mean? You just, you just have 2k HP on a caster with like infinite damage. And so he hops on the sniper here because they think they're going to kill him. His Manta is up in one second, gets stunned, gets put in a bit of a weird scenario. Nice bash from Bach, almost outplays him here, but pops the Manta and the illusions and the right clicks will just go to work. <laughs> like, oh my God. Now from here, guys, there's like a million different avenues you can go on this hero, but I actually think his build is probably the most consistent. You just buy an Octarine. And the reason why is it makes you really tanky. It lowers the Manta cooldown so you can farm like crazy. And of course, it just gives you a lot of spells for the team fights. However, there's other variations of the build. You can try out going Pike. You can try out literally just buying a Moon Shard immediately because then you just proc the um, the Lightnings and your Illusions proc the Lightnings like crazy, right? But he just goes for the, the Octarine, which, you know, with the Manta, Mana Boots, all the spells, it just makes a lot of sense. It obviously enables the hero. But yeah, one of the most insane parts about Zeus is the level 20 talent. It, now it's 12% current health as damage. If someone is full HP and they have 2k health, immediately they are losing 250 health, approximately, just from the Q. And that's not the flat damage, it does 160 as well. Just boom, immediately. Late game, someone has 4k HP, boom, 500 damage Q on a one second cooldown. Obviously, the lower HP they get, the less damage it does because it is current health damage. It's not max HP damage, so the lower they get, the worse this 12% is. However, when someone is full HP, if you nuke them, they just instantly have to be scared. And with Flactory, a Q can do like 700 damage. If you think I'm kidding, I, I'm not kidding. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, for instance, if you're going to see him zap here, okay, that wasn't the Q. But the Q, I mean, at this point, he's already low. But like a 268 damage nuke, and it did more behind that. You can't see it, but uh, it's just crazy. I mean, it's like basically a zero second cooldown. Anyone who gets even remotely close just isn't full health. They're immediately to a third HP at best. Okay, and take a look at the CS guys, 337, beating out the enemy carry, only losing to a Naga Siren. I mean, there's not much you can do about that. And Refresher Orb is online. So now he's got his ulti, 550 damage, 10% max HP is damage. So the ulti does max HP. So even if they're low, the ulti will kill them off. It's important to understand the distinction. The ulti is good against low HP heroes. The Q is not, right? That is the difference there. So. Keep that in mind. But got a refresher once again. You could also just have a pike and a moon shard. That build is very good, guys. I'm serious. Like you can go either one. Uh, but this fight was funny. I I think he refreshes and double ulties the supports, but playing support against Zeus, you basically have to have a glimmer or a cloak, at least. The gyro does not. Uh, and unfortunately for gyro, if you do not have these items, yeah, you kind of just explode. And um yeah. Now at this point in the game, I mean, Zeus impact is very, very straightforward. It's just one of the easiest heroes to play in the game, which is nice. And it's why the hero tends to have a good win rate in pubs, like just in general, it's very good right now, but even when it's not that good of a hero. So fight breaks out at any point, can just drop ult. He also has Ags now, sold his Flactory for Kaya. Uh, this is just because at this point in the game, it's 10% spill amp and you're just trying to amp your giga nukes so definitely a kaya it also helps out with the mana pool honestly like you can have mana problems when you're using two nimbus two ulties refresher wq manta like you can unironically have mana problems so fight breaks out here and yeah while you just try to kill the person in front of you you accidentally kill everyone else the life stealer gets annihilated uh and it's like <laughs> bro it's just so sad to play support i will admit the gyro he wanted a hex, I get it, but you kind of have to buy a cloak, guys. Like, otherwise, he walked into a Nimbus, tanked an ult, tanked a second ult, and he's 400 health. I mean, you can't play the game. You can't play the game with 400 health. Certain supports just get one shot. Because remember, the ulti, it doesn't care if you're low, right? I'm not talking about the carry either. I'm talking about HP percentage. And eventually, when you hit level 25, you get Thunder God's Wrath flat damage. And all of a sudden, these supports that barely live just just die. Like it gets worse. Um, and yeah, you're just providing this this global presence, right? They go on the techies here. Obviously, you just drop an Nimbus, drop an ulti, help out, do about a third of the techies health globally. Very nice. The Nimbus is a really low cooldown at this point too. With with the Octarine 33.8 is not bad at all, as so you can actually use it to clear creep ways uh, globally, which is really great, right? It helps uh, with map control helps with you can use it to give vision of hills like don't be afraid to use it for a variety of different ways depending on however you see fit uh primarily just for vision and waves outside of damage now i know at this point of the game extreme gaming is 36k ahead and no matter what they do it's gonna look kind of good but a lot of people think that life sealers are good against zeus i think especially as the game progresses it's just kind of not the case as gyrocopter dies again 
this Spirit Breaker Zeus combo is pretty nasty. It's just so much damage globally. Uh, but yeah, you can just kind of force the rage, right? He, by the way, this Ethereal Blade gives cast range because it's built from Aether. So let's some kind of Q here and just boom, the Q does 400 damage. Like, <laughs> and it's like, oh shit, I have to rage. You know what I mean? Like, it's just annoying, right? You kind of put the Lifestealer on the threshold where he's like, oh, I don't want to get stunned. You know, maybe I die to the Bloodthorn Naga now. Right? I'm not full HP anymore. And so it's just it's just easy because Lifestealer, kind of hard for him to burst you. Maybe with the Slaughter, but even with the Slaughter, right? You're canceling Blink with the ulti in a lot of cases. And it, and then you see the guy, right? Because your ulti gives vision. It's just, just kind of easy to play around. And so, oh my, oh, dude, dude, like, are you kidding me? What is this? By the way, he got, I mean, he got pretty lucky on the neutral items, got the spell lamp ones this game. So bless, bless up. But drops the combo, drops the E-Blade, Nimbus, the Chain Stun, Hex came out, almost lived on the Life Sealer, but... And like, in the meanwhile, like, people just accidentally die to you. Like, Zeus just accidentally kills your whole team. That's just, that's just kind of the vibe in a late game, just kind of the vibe. But yeah, that's going to be about all for today's video. This game obviously kind of wraps up from here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I inspired you to play Zeus. I actually am thinking this hero is a good safe laner. I think it's a good off laner. Like, this hero is just an insane core. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out. Peace. And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.